Hey, tubers. Bar coming at you. A little bit different one. So, kind of new podcast out there on Bench Clear. Mike Baseball Card Collector does a podcast with uh, Andy. She blinded me with fractures. Uh, called The Golden Age of Cardboard. Pretty good listen. Um, and so, um, you know, I check it out from time to time. You know, it's, it's usually like 40, 45 minutes or so. And uh, so I can watch most of it um, on a commute home or something like that. So they had a video and it was basically talking about cards that uh, you're not happy about buying or something like that. And a lot of times it can happen to set registry or something like that. I got to buy this card. I'm not excited about it. And I've, I've done that a few times. I'm pretty good about it, uh, about not doing that if I'm not excited about it. But I've done it a couple of times. Some checklist cards from, you know, 70s tops sets or something like that for the Niners. Um, you know, there's a couple cards I had to, you know, I want to get it in good grade. So I bought, I think there's a 72 card that I had to, you know, pay like 200 bucks for in a PSA 9 that has the, the Cowboys depicted as beating the 49ers. But... Other than that, I've avoided that. But um, on display, most of the spring, I've been moving these displays around left and right. And I'd, I'd had one full display at, at a time uh, at one point where a bunch of displays were showing sets and things like that or just different little runs. Um, but one full display was just a complete mix of cards that I just kind of liked or whatever. And uh, since it was only one display, it didn't kind of fit with the rest of them or whatever. Uh, but they were cards that made me happy. And when I put them away, I was kind of like, meh. Um, I, I missed that or whatever. And I ended up, the last time I, I shook it all up and, and put cards in, I basically put all of the, um, all of my displays, I filled them with cards that make me happy. So I figured I'd show that off and kind of discuss why they make me happy. And you just kind of get to see what's in the, some displays because I got a, a good number of cases around here. So let's check it out. All right, so cards that made me happy. Um, here is my raw display, and I just got kind of some classics. There's a 72 cloth sticker of the Niners. It didn't, they wouldn't grade it because it basically didn't, couldn't figure out what how to slab it or what it was or anything like that at the last PSA sub. So uh, they sent it back, but I just really think it's a cool card. And, and so I tossed it in a bag. Um, I just, I bought, busted that box at 85 tops. So I thought that was pretty cool to get the the dock and the and the strawberry there, um, bow nose, the powder blue Royals. Broke that Michael Jordan out myself. Um, hit those two as well. Those two nineties tops. Um, man, I wanted that that All Star Cup Griffey in a PSA ten forever. I mean, for fucking ever, and I never bought it. Uh, you know, they went up to like 70 bucks, and I still never pulled the trigger. And now they're well over that. I'm just not willing to. But I love the card. Opened some old hoops way back in the day. And that Robinson was one I always remembered. So when I busted some hoops recently, I went after it again. Um, Mike Tyson, not his first card or rookie card, but I think that's from 1991. Ringside, if memory serves. But got the champ belt on the Don King with the hairdo. Got my man, the round mount, a rebound, Charles Barkley. Um, I watched him heavy in the 90s. Uh, not as much on the Sixers, but I did like that card and the artistry of it. Uh, busted some 90 Fleer. I got a, uh, one of those Jordans, and I, fingers crossed, I think a contend at a PSA right now. Same with the Sean Kemp. I probably pulled a 9 on a Sean Kemp, but I remember just cheering for him a lot. Got the O'Neal, love the jersey poses. That's why you can see that Bryant, that Iverson. Uh, the Barkley there, I love that, that insert set there. Um, Ultra Power from I think 94. Um, but that's how I remember Barkley is on the Suns and that was when I was rooting for him so heavy. And then uh, we got some more inserts, just some great looking cards. Rice, a metal Jordan. There's Peyton holding his jersey up. There's a 97 Chrome for the Bulls. Love SPX, that's the gold of Steve Young. 
Upper Deck Black Diamond. Don't sleep on that set. That one is the three diamond, I think. I just like the yellow a little bit more. Nice refractor of bonds. That was the first big card I ever pulled out of a pack. I just thought I'd hit the fucking lottery. It was worth like 25 bucks back then. That Peyton. Some inserts. We got white chocolate, Jason Williams in the house. Shaq holding trophies. I'm really into the, the NBA cards if they're holding up the jersey or if they're showing trophies off. So that's the Shaq. There's a LeBron rookie. Bill Walsh. That was a hookup in a care package from uh, Mike Thomas. There's a Gore rookie. Mr. National. Ryan Zimmerman there. We got some hockey. We got some refractors. There's a Kobe with a trophy and a die cut. There's a Randy Moss. I think that's out of 139. Yeah. Cap. We got Teddy Roosevelt mascot. Rice was a that's out of 50 from a high tech. That was a hookup from Dave Midlife Car Crisis. Midlife Car Crisis. Of that Bosa. That one's a drawing from Eric Johnson. I hooked me up that in a care package. And then some inserts. And that one's that action packed where he's actually got an earring on. Love me some triple threads. Got my Terps in there. Got a LeBron there. 08 tops. Got some Nationals pride. So let's check out some graded. Let me see if I need to lift this up. I don't want too much. That was cool. You got to, to witness that one. I just cranked my uh, <laughs> fan. Uh, but just just beautiful cards that you just you can't be upset about when you look at them. Look at this. Superman punching a damn shark. 52 Bowman. My first vintage baseball. It's only a one, but just a glorious one. Jackie, love me some tittles, some Jim Thorpe. We got some 54 tops. And I have some other cards that, I, that make me happy as well, but I didn't want to put too many of the high dollar ones in there. 55 Bowman, I just am a big fan of that set as a whole, so I wanted to, to show one of them off, and that's McElhaney. Um, that YA tittle, that 56 tops, that's one of my favorite cards there is. Um, you know, that's kind of how I see myself looking at vintage cards, his smile. That's, it's just a childish look. You just kind of get excited. My only mantle. Nice stand of man. Brooks Robinson, love the pose, love that Orioles logo there. Grew up in Maryland before the Nats existed, so I did go to a lot of Orioles stuff. My first Clemente. It's a Jim Brown, that 1963 Stan Craft. It just reminds me, I have the whole set in PSA 10. All-Star trophies, love them. Batman, if you don't have a couple of those, you're missing out. Those are just great cards. Kale Sayers, Hank Aaron, I love the, the, that top set. Seaver, love 69 tops football with the classic logo. So I picked the Brody out. Rest in peace to Bob Gibson. That's my one Bob Gibson right now. Um, I need to get another one or two there. All-star trophy of bench. Got Nolan. OJ. I'm going to get rid of this glare. What angle? All right. Got my Terry Bradshaw. Reggie. Love the beanie hat on Franco. That's one of my favorite OJs. Needs a haircut pretty bad. There's a Niners OJ. Love this Walter Payton. I sold most of my Paytons. I had a really high-end Payton collection. Sold most of them off, but couldn't get rid of that one. Lawrence Taylor. I subbed that one myself. 82 tops, PSA 10. There's a cow from 82. That's a relatively recent pickup. Love the 84 tops glossy there. Of Joe. 86,000 yard clubs. Pretty sweet. Tops box bottoms, just a tough card. Toys R Us of Bonds. Really would like to get the Griffey one of those. David Robinson. 
bow nose. Slabbed that myself, got the gym. Do you have, uh, I got what, like three hockey cards, I think. <laughs> and two of them are on display here. There's the Yarma Yager. Got Vince, love 90 score as well. So that's kind of why that makes me happy. I like Vince and the coaches, uh, but I love 90 score. There's Jordan, who remembers the stripes from wild card. Got a thousand stripe there. And uh, let's see if we can get a good angle without crazy glare here. Slab that Jeter myself and got a nine. Slab that Barry, love 95 finest, just great looking set. That's a refractor. 95 Skybox. I opened so many packs and so many boxes of that. Love that Pater set. Got that Iverson recently slapped myself. I meant nine on it. Big Peter Max, 97 insert fan. So there's the Emmett in a 10. Steve Young Field Generals. And I just realized that label probably should say embossed on it. <laughs> Big Poppy, there's Kobe. Check this out, love that Woodson gold medallion. There's a Kobe, great pose. Big Peyton fan. I have a couple Pokemon cards. Mm, I don't know what I got, uh, slabs, less than 10, maybe like seven, eight, nine, something like that. Um, Pokemon wasn't big until I was a teenager, but uh, I had a Game Boy Color and I played Pokemon Blue on the Game Boy Color as a lifeguard on my breaks. And so I kind of got into it and uh, had some cards from a brother that was just treating them like trash. And I was a card collector of sports already. So I held on to a couple of them and slabbed a couple later, a couple of first editions and stuff. Tiger Woods, Breeze, Ichiro. Let me get this glare off here. Check out this Skybox LeBron, looks great. Black, Gore. I grabbed the whole Bond set in PSA 10s of his tops, but this 07 one is just one of my favorites. Obviously 07 is tough, but that's kind of how I remember Bonds. Always in the away uniform, because if it was home, the game was probably too late for me on the East Coast to see, um, or wherever I was at, but um, I just always more often saw him on TV in away games, and so the gray uniform, bionic arm with all the pads and everything else it's just how i remember him so i really like that big bell cow running back fan so there's the ap hit that in the box myself way back when and finally slabbed it navarro bowman loved the die cuts um, there's a trout paid 130 bucks for that that was a win slabbed that Crystal Atomic of Patrick Willis, myself, got a gem. Bryce Harper, got the Trout Trophy, PSA 10. Acuna, slabbed that one myself. Here's some recent ones there. Fred Warner Obsidian, Fred Warner Camo, slabbed this Atomic of Soto. Bosa Gold from Elite. Jimmy G Red Zone, I think that's out of 20. And then I sub the Bryce every year. And uh, that's just a great looking uniform, pose, photo, everything. All in one card and a base card. So love flagship. I've always been all about that base. And, and this is just case in point right there. And then this case over here is Jerry Rice cards that make me happy. I have a stupid large Jerry Rice collection. And uh, here's some of them that I like. Uh, the Rice Rookie in a 9. Box Bottom from 87. Got an 8 on that. I slabbed it myself. Fact Pack starting lineup. Love that score hot card from 90. I think it's like Pop 3 now, but that was the first one. Um, that poster card up in the top right. I had that poster in my room as a kid. Found the card. Slabbed it. Pop 1. A couple of autos there. That's the first Jerry Auto in 93 Stadium Club. Ring Bears is a great card. 94 Finest, 95 Finest. Got a Z team in there. Just like this picture from uh, Zenith. 
I broke the record for touchdowns. First jersey cards ever from 96 Upper Deck. Trophy collection, catching that football bullet. Always like pinnacle inscriptions. Check out that hot hands. Got another Peter Max. That's a 10. A nice finest refractor there. Pacific Revolution, Revolution. Those Pacific Revolutions in different sets in the 97 and 98. They were just some crazy good looking cards. I'm in the Air Force, so love this Air Force Stadium Club card. Titanium, sub that myself, got a gem. Invincible was a great in, great set. Lots of different colors of inset, inserts. That die cut. Both of those two I sub myself. That gold in the profiles there. Sub this Kramer's Choice. Myself got the gem. Sub that Prestige. Molten Metal, the blue version. That's on a 99. Private Signings Auto got a 9. Prestige that stars it. There's just a wicked die cut there with a lot of a lot of nice stuff going on. Sub that myself. 2000 Upper Deck Legends, another classic jersey card. And then the Passing the Torch, Terrell Owens is on the back there. I think that's out of 500. Got a mint nine on those. Those are tough grades. Left, right, center is pretty buff, rough. And then uh, another case, I put some uh, put some Project 2020s in. There's some Baller, some Don C, and some, uh, I'm going to brain fart on that guy's name. Uh, Rochester, there we go, Rochester. Uh, some Sophia Chang, some F Dot. Here's some 55s. Not big on horizontal cards, but gotta love 55. Man, you're just not human if you don't like the 55 look. Mm, voice is sounding rough. <laughs> some more. And then mentioned Peter Max before. Here is 9 out of the 10 for the baseball set. Uh, missing every, Got everybody except Jeter. Jeter's going for like 80, 90 bucks raw, so I haven't sprung for that lately, but... 1997, just a classic snapshot in time. I was about 16, so just big time sports. And, you know, it was real impressionable as far as how sports went then. And uh, and this just depicts that. So those are the cards. That's what makes me happy. Just a, a great mix of diversity and everything else in the slabs, in the mags, whatever. Collect what you love. Thanks for watching. Later.